Now, the Israel-Palestinian conflict has led to the death of more than uh, 100 people. In reaction to this conflict, the United Nations has tried to step in as they called for a ceasefire. Details in this report. The Israeli fighter jets unleashed a series of heavy airstrikes at multiple locations in Gaza City earlier today. This came hours after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu signaled the fourth war with Gaza's Hamas rulers would range on. It's been five days since Hamas brazenly fired rockets at Jerusalem and other Israeli cities in a totally unprovoked attack. This past week, millions of Israelis were forced into bomb shelters as missiles rained down on our cities. Several Israelis have been killed Many more have been wounded. You know and I know no country would tolerate this. Israel will not tolerate this. Meanwhile, the international calls to ceasefire had continued to mount as the United Nations had called on an immediate ceasefire. On the implications to world peace and attack on media houses, a foreign affairs analyst spoke on the current crisis and possible solutions to end the conflict. The magnitude of the crisis you see now just shows you that a lot of work is still there to be done, especially by uh, the Biden uh, administration, which generally uh, the United States has been the chief ally. For this to de-escalate, the United States will have to take a bold stance on what is going on. Uh, the attack on the building in Gaza Strip that has that officially has the media offices for Al Jazeera and the Associated Press is unfortunate because um, automatically it means that um, you will not be able to get um, the information out. But I know the men of, men of the media houses have contingency plans uh, right from when they were given an hour notice. It is important for the international community to stop dragging its feet and uh, take a decisive decision to end the conflict, to end the suffering of the people in Gaza Strait. A local advocacy manager in Palestine gives an insight on the current developments. Palestinians are calling for a day to action tomorrow. They are calling for a general strike all over Palestine. They were facing also digital rights violations like account suspensions and content takedown. A public affairs analyst who spoke on the Plus TV's Africa's The Breakfast blames the Trump administration for collaborating with the Arab nations to make peace with the Israelis without making peace with the Palestinians. The Trump administration was cunningly trying to get all its Arab friends to make peace with Israel without making peace of Israel, where you see that fail. Nigeria has nothing to contribute. Nigeria is not even stable. Several countries have joined the forces to call on the United Nations to wade into the matter. But what happens next between Israel and Palestine remains to be seen. For Plus TV Africa, Gozika or HSC. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.